look, I get it. As we're just finding our collective footing after the chaos of COVID, the last thing anyone wants to talk about is a virus. But I gotta tell you, in the work I'm doing with organizations, big and small and across all sectors, I'm noticing a disease and it's got me worried. And you should probably be worried too. Today, the scary, insidious threat that we're facing is the epidemic of learned helplessness. Here's what it looks like. It's people who, when faced with a challenge or a problem, are tending to throw their hands up in the air in despair rather than figure out a solution. It's employees who complain that they don't have the information they need or they don't know who does what in their organization, but they've somehow lost the instinct to get up out of their chair and find out. And generally, it's employees who are expecting to be spoon-fed information in a weirdly childlike fashion. Make no mistake, learned helplessness is dangerous. It's erosive to performance and it's damaging employee well-being. It's time for leaders to take action. Here are three recommendations. The first is to develop your radar for learned helplessness and nip it in the bud. Next, spotlight employees who are demonstrating initiative, entrepreneurship, and an ability to get shit done. And third, think about learned helplessness as a symptom and try to figure out its root causes. My bet is on some combination of issues of leadership, culture, enablement, and communication. Look, if the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that life is short and purpose matters. So let's stop the scourge of learned helplessness because we're all better off doing work that matters with people who care.